All right. Mr. Minister, can you <laughs> outline or expound for us on the reason why it was deemed necessary to implement such a drastic curtailment of the hours by which the beaches may be used from uh, 12 noon until 5 a.m. daily? Have we been experiencing heavy clustering at the beaches outside of public holidays and maybe weekends that would make the closure of beaches or the curtailment of hours in this case so necessary at this time? That's the first part of my question. And would this also apply to tourists, so hotel guests, and stopover cruise passengers? Yes, I did say that at the beginning uh, in my uh, prologue. The, the, the whole idea is, is that we want to give the Ministry of Health, and these are measures that have worked very well, we want to break up the spread. And we are satisfied that there have been breaches to the restrictions that we have put in place. Um, yes, there have been um, illicit use of the beaches to organize parties, and there has been cavorting and social gatherings at the beaches and, and even on the offshore islands on the weekends. Uh, the, the Coast Guard has indicated that they this had to stop two vessels over the last room. week, and there were more than 70 persons on each of the boats having um, unmasked freedom and fun. And so it is, in the words of uh, Dr. Joseph, um, it is people that move the virus around. And so we want to ensure that we limit that. And over the next two weeks, to be able to utilize as many measures as we can to uh, reduce the spread, to stop the spread of, of, of COVID. So yes, we have uh, been um, notified and we have intelligence to show that the, there are breaches um, to the requirements for persons to maintain social distancing and to limit social gatherings. And the beaches are used as an escape from that restriction.